thank you for joining our webinar today. Our core focus for this session is how the Peril Control Center can aid you in eliminating Peril data errors. Leanna Stettler will be hosting this session, but before we begin, she'll give a brief introduction of the Peril Control Center, then talk about the challenges most of our customers have experienced upon implementing PCC. We'll also talk about how SpinFX IT solutions manage to bridge its gaps and show you our PCC solution in action. Without further ado, I'm calling in our host, Leanna Stettler. Welcome everyone and thanks for joining. Today we're going to be talking about the Payroll Control Center and how SpinFX IT can help you implement and run that solution faster, easier, and better. For those of you out there that have not seen PCC, it is a new way for processing payroll that uses a nice front-end wizard, no longer needing to log into the payroll system as you will now be accessing through a web browser. And the nice thing about it is that it allows you to constantly monitor data that is being run through payroll, whether it's from the master data side or through the payroll side of the house. The idea is that you can look at the details at any point in time and fix those errors before payroll has to be processed. It's basically giving you the extra time to see what payroll is going to look like before you actually have to run it in production. It's payroll, and it's important to get it right. PCC is process-driven, making sure no steps are missed, and providing automatic alerts when exceptions are encountered. Talking with customers, everyone is at different stages in the migration to the cloud. Though it's definitely accelerated over the past decade, as we see more SAP customers dipping their toes in the water, we have several customers who have started that migration with different success factors modules. And the one thing that most have in common is holding off with moving their payroll processing. Customers have seemed somewhat hesitant to make that move, but with the addition of PCC, that jump is becoming more appealing. So what can you expect to get with PCC? A few of the top challenges that companies have with their payroll process is compliance, efficiencies, accuracy, visibility, and of course, reporting. SAP has the first three of those challenges baked into PCC, and Spinifex IT takes care of the reporting piece using our Easy Reporter solution as a policy engine, which I will speak on in just a couple of minutes. We also make it easier to implement and use PCC. But did you know, Along with the cost of non-compliance, the cost of employee turnover due to payroll areas is real. I was watching a partner's webinar about the future of payroll solutions, and they gave statistics that the number of employees who have experienced a paycheck error was at 50%, and the number of employees who will look for a new job after just one payroll mistake was at 24%, which jumps to 49% if and when they experienced the second paycheck error. From running a payroll department prior to coming to work here at Spinifex IT, that really didn't surprise me, as the typical time to research and correct errors usually takes between three to eight days. Here's a quick peek at the process management piece of PCC. And in my, in my opinion, this is really the best part. It's what's called one-click monitoring. It allows you to start the monitoring process when ready. Say you're running a weekly payroll that is processed on Fridays. You could kick off the monitoring on Monday and continue the monitoring process throughout the week. And what it will do is look at all the data that is out there for payroll and will provide alerts on the policies that you have in place. And it will automatically update based on changes to employees' records over the course of the week and show additional alerts as they occur, giving you time to go in during the week and fix those problems. But configuring the one-click monitoring is a downside to the way SAP delivered PCC. The hardest part about PCC when it comes to implementation is building these policies out there. They are all hard-coded in configuration, so it's not a simple or quick process to go through if you want to change any of the approximate 40 pre-delivered policies through the rapid deployment solution or add additional policies that you may need. As an example, Pre-delivered, you have a high net policy that is greater than $1,000, but you want it to be something different, like greater than $5,000 for salaried employees or greater than $1,500 for hourly employees. That configuration inside of SAP is tedious and time-consuming. 
And if you have new policies that you want included, you will have to write that code by hand using ABBA. Either way, these are changes that would have to be transported through your landscape and tested out prior to moving into your productive system, which will add on even more time. What I'm saying with our solution is you're not gonna to have to do that. And an added bonus with PCC is the ability to report on simulated payroll results. I don't know how many times I've been asked if Easy Reporter can report on simulated payroll results, which is a big deal to all of our customers. Well, now that's possible if you decluster your payroll in SAP. That will allow you to catch any exceptions prior to running in production, which is just another reason how PCC and Cinefix IT can help ensure the accuracy of your payroll. This is SAP standard PCC. You have the process management where you kick off your simulated and regular payroll run. You have the error management where you can see alerts based on the policies in place. And then you have some configuration steps where you can actually set up processes and policies. What I say, what, what SAP has done is they've given you a policy engine, which is their rapid deployment solution that contains about 40 policies out there. And it works fine if you don't have to make any changes to those policies. Um, but this is what we did. We created our own policy engine that leverages Easy Reporter. Essentially, you can have the SAP policy engine and you can have the Easy Reporter policy engine running side by side. So if you've already deployed PCC and there are policies out there that you don't want to change, you don't have to, no reason to recreate the wheel, you can still leverage those. But if you need to make some changes or create new policies, you can use Easy Reporter to do those easily and quickly. Or if you're implementing and you haven't done any of this yet, you can use the Easy Reporter engine and it will drastically reduce the time to deploy. The policies cre created and maintained using Easy Reporter look and feel just like the SAP standard policies in PCC. You're not gonna lose anything and you'll actually gain additional functionality with our policy engine. And we actually pre-deliver about 40 policies straight out of the box, which can easily be modified if needed. And one of those added bits of functionality that we deliver is the ability to drill into the alert via our Easy Reporter report directly inside of PCC to determine the cause of the alert. With standard PCC, you on, you're only alerted that a policy popped, but not what caused it to pop. So we make it easier and faster to solve those items, which I will show you in just a few moments. So everyone we've talked to has been quoted between two to three months to deploy standard PCC. And we've witnessed that during actual deployments. What we're saying is that if you're doing the basics of PCC, we're talking just a few weeks using Easy Reporter. Granted, if you have 35 payroll areas, it's gonna take a little bit longer to get all your policies set up. But if you only have a few, we can definitely get you up and running a whole lot faster with a rapid deployment solution. And everybody wants faster, easier, and better, and utilizing Easy Reporter as a policy engine inside of PCC hits the mark on all three. So now let's go into the demonstration. Okay, I am in our payroll control center, and during this webinar, we're gonna focus on the process management and on the error management sections within payroll control center. Let's go into the process management. In here, these are all of the payrolls, whether they're simulation or live, that we have in our demo system. And we are gonna look at this USA monthly simulation. It is currently in the monitoring phase. And we can see here that there are 11 alerts. If I drill into this, I can get a little more information, including who those alerts have been assigned to. They've been assigned to the SPIN PCC. But to view the actual alerts, we need to go into the error management. So let's go there now. In error management, we first find our US monthly simulation, which is right at the top. We see that there are 11 errors. And then we can do this little all errors button to see all of them that are out there. We have anybody who has a position of 999999. 999, 999, um, 
employees that live in one country and work in another, separated with net pay, retro over an amount. Um, those are all the ones that have kicked off as alerts with this simulation. So let's go into the retro pay over amount. And in here, we can see, we can see one alert that is unresolved. We do have one that is set to resolved already. Um, but here's Mr. Braden. Um, he has a retro, a gross retro of $6,166 and change. And we can see the total pay and the amount paid and the number of periods it was retro. Okay, so this is where standard PCC stops. It's giving you the alert, it's just giving you the basic information, but it's not giving you the ability to try to resolve or determine, to analyze why this happened. And that's where SpinFX IT comes in, utilizing our Easy Reporter as the policy engine. So we can go ahead and click here. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna come up and give a little more information. This is completely modifiable. Um, we're seeing the total growth, the amount paid, the number of periods retroed, and the amount, say for instance, because this has to do with, with pay, maybe you need to see the pay, you'd like to see the pay scale group on the summary as well. That's easily doable, um, no problems whatsoever. It's just achieved within Easy Reporter itself. If we scroll down a little bit further, we also have the ability to try to resolve the issue or to understand why this retro pay occurred with various easy reporter reports that have been assigned specific, specifically to this alert. So let's go into the payroll analysis and we're gonna look at this wage type breakdown report. It's actually a drill down report and it's specifically for Braden for this alert. And when we go in here, we see gross deductions and net pay here. We'll go into gross. Um, Braden was only was only um, receiving salary from wage type 1002. We further expand. We can see the current amount of 13,005, and now we see the retro amount of the $6,100. If we open this up further, we can see what pay periods it retro back to. This Simulated payroll is for pay seven of 2017, so it retro back all the way to pay five. And you can see that the original amount for pay five was 10,416, and it retro, it changed to 13.5, the same thing for pay six. So we know, or we could pretty much assume here that maybe there was a change to the to Braden salary. Um, and so we have another tool that we can look at, but I'm keeping it pretty simple here as far as an example during this webinar, but this could really be a needle in a haystack depending what the alert was and what you were looking for. So we, we're just providing those tools for you to look at that information directly within Payroll Control Center. So let's go into the master data an analyst analysis, and then we are going to look at the master data audit report. This report is going to show us all info type records that have changed for the period for Braden. And when we come here, we can see it has the employee information here, what type of modification it was, the user that did it, the date it was modified, uh, the time, the info type, the info type description. And then you've got information over here on the right hand side that we'll get to. But as I scroll down, um, we see info type three, which is pretty standard, but look down here, we have, we have things for info type eight that have changed. If I scroll over here to the right, we can see that the annual salary changed from $125,000 to $162,000, effective May 1st, back at the beginning of May, but the change wasn't made until July 28th. So that's what that's what caused the retro. So I can I can pretty much be guaranteed that that retro pay would be accurate. If, for instance, you wanted to maybe forward this on to a teammate to, to maybe contact the employee supervisor, Braden supervisor, to see if indeed the effective date was was supposed to be May instead of July, you can actually have the ability to forward this alert onto someone else on your team 
here, it could be set to resolved if it's time. So the next time the monitoring kicks off, then this would no longer show up as an alert. So that's how you can take care of that. One other thing that I wanna show you while we're here is I wanna show you some other reporting that we're able to do directly inside of Payroll Control Center that is not standard it's with our policy engine with Easy Reporter. We also have this US monthly with reporting. What we can do is we can create a phase or a process per se, um, that is a reporting phase to kick off at any given time during the process. And you assign what easy reporter reports you want to run. And it will automatically run those reports for you and make them available. And so I'm just gonna go in here into the details and it's gonna open up our web reporting and show all of the various reports that were kicked off. We'll go into display. This is a pay-to-pay -pay comparison. And this one, it's going to show all employees, not just Braden, um, it would be all employees, um, their employee number, we've got the gross, their current gross pay, the previous gross pay, what the difference is in the same for the net pay. And one nice thing about the Easy Reporter reports, and this one is a really popular report for our customers, is you can put a threshold on the differences. So say for instance, you only are interested in seeing employees on this report where the gross pay difference is greater than $500 or the net pay difference is greater than $500. You have the ability to do that. And then from here, you also have the ability to print the report and then you can also save it in the CS CSV format or you can save it in an Excel format. So that's pretty cool. Okay, the last thing I wanted to do is I wanted to go directly into Easy Reporter and show you how easy it is to change a report or change a threshold on a report that's being used as a policy inside of Payroll Control Center. I am in my Easy Reporter that's it's directly inside of SAP. Uh, I'm gonna go into my Spinifex pre-delivered report in the Payroll Control Center, and I'm gonna go find that retro pay over amount and then when I come here, I'll first let me just run the report real quick. And what you'll see is you'll see those two employees. Here is Braden right here with the 6100. And then Chris, who was set to resolve, as you saw just a few minutes ago, is also in this report. Let's say, for instance, we only want to see employees who have a retro pay over $7,000. Uh, that's a pretty simple fix. So all I need to do is go in here under additional selections where my threshold is at and change this from 1,000 to 7,000. And then I can just rerun the report again, execute it, and I immediately can see that the change that I made did work. Um, so that's just how simple it is. And that's everything I wanted to cover in this webinar. I'd like to thank you guys for taking the time to watch us today. This was a very high level demonstration about how we can enhance the PCC experience. If you'd like to have a more in-depth demonstration, please reach out to us and we would be more than happy to schedule that with you. Thank you very much.